Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another New Age review video. Uh, these videos are a bit, bit of a laugh, people seem to enjoy them. Um, I quite enjoy doing them as well because it can really bring out the old uh, sarcasm. I'm quite a sarcastic kind of person, got quite a dark sense of humour. Um, so, uh, but at the same time it's serious work as well. These guys, a lot of these New Agers are deceiving people with their Kool-Aid and uh, these subtle deceptions are leaving, leading people into further cul-de-sacs which really uh, equates to more pain, more suffering and uh, you know tying people into making them feel good all the time and sort of not really looking at any shadow stuff, any darkness um, and as we know it's all love and light, rainbows, unicorns. I'm all for positivity and I'm all for hope um, but what I'm not up for is false hope and fake positivity and there is a big difference between the two because at the moment I am seeing a lot of genuine um, positive signs um, you know, people are starting to wake up, alright, there's a lot of chaos going on, as well. um, but there is reasons to be, genuine reasons to be hopeful. But these new ages, uh, a lot of them are just propagating false hope, fake positivity, bypassing, and that's where it becomes dangerous and where we can end up in trouble. So this video is the long-awaited, had so many requests from this guy, Aaron Doughty. Uh, I've struggled, as I struggle with all of them, to actually get through a video. Uh, the, just the cringe factor on some of these people is off the charts. And he is one that I've particularly struggled with because I have to go through a lot of the videos to find one that's the right length and, and all that stuff. So I've managed to get through this one and I think it's a good one to do because he starts, well, the, the actual title of the video is the Galactic Federation. Now, the Galactic Federation is basically more savior programming. These are false white light beings and it's basically an agenda to get people to think that some being outside of themselves is coming down to save us and solve all of our problems and defeat the cabal and what have you and so it's a complete deception um, really the underlying issue is that it's teaching people to be passive teaching them to stand down and as I say that others are here are gonna come and save us so just in the title alone is deceptive so let's get into Aaron and see what he's got to say on the planet many of which don't remember that we're all one consciousness we're all connected many of which have been brainwashed into not even getting along with each other and then you put in this alien threat and we got a lot of you know hollywood beat programming where we're afraid first thing that i noticed with him is very kind of like salesy uh if you look at a lot of his stuff it's it's all very kind of a little bit like ralph smart it's kind of refined sort of marketing wise sort of marketing spirituality something kind of off with that kind of vibe it's all a little bit polished for me <laughs> So let's see. BTs and we think it's all this hostile thing. And what happens is if they were to land, imagine there'd be so many people with guns and afraid and shooting at them. They know that. That's why they don't land. Welcome back. Clear. They're not going to land because there's no one here that's going to help uh, save us. <laughs> we have to do it ourselves. So stop talking about it, really. On the Daily Vortex podcast with Aaron Dowdy. I changed the name. Oh my goodness. The name has changed. It was the Aaron Dowdy podcast. It was the Expand Your Awareness 2.0 podcast. And for the final time, I've rebranded a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. He's rebranded. It's all about brand for him. That's what I get from him. Actually, just seeing uh, on his little flip chart there, he's got um, what Bashar says. Now, Bashar is definitely on my radar. Bashar, definitely false white light. Another quote-unquote channeler. I don't trust any channelers. The symbology, uh, when you go to Bashar's website or his videos, uh, you've got all-seeing eyes, pyramids, all that kind of stuff. Very suspect that he's even got Bashar on that little flip chart there. So, Oh, and he's got Trump. And uh, so let's, and Dolores Car they're all there. <laughs> all the, all the saviors, all the false white lighters. So let's see. This is now the Daily Vortex. The Daily Vortex is where you can go to raise your vibration. There's going to be content posted two, three times a week. So more Abraham BS. I've just done a video on Abraham. We know what she's promoting. She's promoting the poison dart. Just get into the vortex, guys. Get into the vortex and raise that vibration and everything will disappear. On this podcast channel and it's around you literally going into your vortex raising your vibration, understanding that uh, you're a high vibrational being. How many times do these people repeat the word vibration, high vibration? It, again, it's like some kind of hypnosis, some kind of programming. We know repetition is a form of hypnosis. I just wonder if some of this is very well scripted. It almost seems kind of like NLP kind of stuff. And when you go through this vortex as well, you're able to change your identity, let go of the past. And that's a lot of what we talk about on this podcast. Yeah, just let go of the past. Don't deal with the past. Don't face the past. Don't front your shadow. Don't work through it. Just accept it another massive new age deception you know you can't just if you've had abuse for example just accepting that you've had abuse and not working through that trauma is going to lead to more pain and suffering how to let go of the past how to let go of attachment how to let go of desire and how to wire in the best version of you 
and realizing that that's who you are, and then also raising your vibration. So the more you listen to it, the more you raise your vibe. That's the idea, and that's why now it is called the Daily Vortex. I'll get used to saying it. It sounds kind of weird to say right now because it's new and fresh. I wonder how his vibration is when he can't leave his home and potentially soldiers on the streets. I wonder how his vibration is going to be then. Is he still going to be sitting in his vortex while all this is going on? Mike, at now, because it's so new, kind of like, eh, I like the tweeter awareness better, the Airnetic Podcast better, but the Daily Vortex is your daily go-to place for your daily dose of high vibes to expand your consciousness and to transform your life. So, anyways, I'm super excited for this episode. Again, loads of new age buzzwords, vibration, vortex, you know, all this stuff. It's like cocaine for some people. This is more of like a news style episode where I explain what's going on in the world. It is true. The Galactic Federation goes mainstream from a uh, spacehead Israeli operative person that, you know, has been around this for a long time, trying to spill the beans. Even said that Trump as well knows about this. And I believe. Of course, Savior Trump knows. Trump's going to disclose. Got a whole load of content coming out about Q, by the way, where another date has passed and nothing's happened. And, uh,. Yeah, for anyone that's sort of done any kind of research, we know that there is such a thing as Project Bluebeam, whereby I think if all else fails for this cult, they are going to plan some sort of fake alien invasion. And for years now, they've been dropping seeds into mainstream media um, about you know UFOs and all that kind of stuff. And it's all planting seeds into people's subconscious. So when they do pull off this, probably some kind of holographic projection mass event, uh, people are already going to be half programmed to accept and buy into it. So. He's not talking about anything positive here. He's talking just about another agenda of the cult. I believe that Obama has known about ETs for actually even longer than when he was president, personally. But in general, I believe that uh, now is one of the most exciting times to be alive on the planet than ever before. And I'm super excited to be here with you. And uh, yeah. It looks like he's reading a script or something. Seems a bit weird. This is, this is exciting. So uh, right now, what I wanted to do as well is um, let you know a couple of announcements. One is I now have a phone number that you can text to get the high vibe thought of the day, and I don't post it every day, but a couple times a week, I'm getting ready actually right now after this podcast episode to go send out a message. I wonder how much that text pa package costs, that text bundle costs. I mean, you know, everyone has to earn a living, but you know, some of this stuff is, yeah, it's pretty, pretty weird. Like the epiphanies I'm going through and stuff. So if you want to be part of that, you just text me at 424. Uh, yeah, just the books I'm reading, quotes, uh, ideas of the day. Synchronicity, like I, I try to tap into like the collective as well to like give things that I think are powerful reflections. Uh, that's the See that more buzzwords, synchronicities, reflections, it's just full of new age buzzwords. Than that of your natural body temperature and that helps you get deeper sleep. And now many of you know I track my sleep using something called the Whoop and it does... I don't know, when you start involving technology and with sleep, I mean we've got enough of that with, with Wi-Fi at night. Uh, I don't know, I trust the, the natural process of the body. Six minutes in, we've got like a text bundle package, and now he's vlogging some sleep thing. Huge fan of it, and anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm completely convinced. Episode that I've been using it for a couple months. Other than that, let's go and get into the rest of the episode, right? Yeah. Great, we can start. Seven minutes of selling. What is called the Galactic Federation, as it was referred to in the article. It actually even says that Trump was on the verge of saying, you know, actually Bashar talked about this. Yeah, here we go. Savior Trump disclosing everything, <laughs> and the Q fans go wild. Was a uh, seminar that Bashar did. So Bashar, Daryl Inka, many of you guys know I've talked about some of his um, channels. It's kind of like an Abraham Hicks type thing. I know it's a little more esoteric. Wonderful, Abraham Hicks, who promotes the poison dart. I watched a, I watched an actual proper interview with Bashar some months ago. Not where he's sitting in his seat and you know doing all that and talking in a funny way, but an actual. And his energy is awful. Like I was just picking up and reading his energy field and something really badly off. I mean, he's already promoting Abraham Hicks, the, the Vortex, now Bashar. This guy's got over a million followers as well. So again, another new ager with a huge following. Uh, yeah, as I've said in other videos, I think my channel's probably been going as long as his and I've still only got about six and a half thousand. So who knows, maybe he's better looking than me or something. <laughs> uh, for some of you listening, but he's been around for 30 years doing this and it's been very consistent with his information, but one consistently inconsistent thing people were asking about was this because it's highly likely that over the next few years more and more people are going to become aware that ETs exist and there's going to be soft forms of disclosure happening. When you look at the word alien, it has the word lie in it. A lion. What I do believe exists are interdimensionals and these are energies or frequencies that can come in and out of this dimension being used here as a, another huge deception and another booby trap. And one thing that was mentioned years ago is that it's very highly probable that someone like Trump, who in a way, knowing Trump's personality, he may want to be the person to actually kind of spill the beans in a way. Trump basically has kept all the patriots at bay. He's kept everyone from rebelling because they're all waiting on Trump 
So a lot of these people are pushing the Trump stroke Q agenda for multiple reasons, but that being the main one. Now, if you look at where we are in the timeline of Q, it's another date passed yesterday with, with nothing not happening. And so we're almost a year into this pandemic whereby a lot of these patriots would have stood up and maybe rebelled or, or whatever, but they haven't because of, they think that Trump's uh, taking down the deep state. And so all these uh, new agents, a lot of these big new agents are, are pushing the Trump Q narrative. Doesn't surprise me that he's doing that here. Many presidents, by the way, have known that ETs do exist. I think, I think there was something to do with Eisenhower. Laura Eisenhower, also guys, uh, promoting Trump as well. So there you have it. Probably should do a video on her as well. Other things that have pointed to this like, conclusion, but just in general, what it says, it says, Trump was on the verge of revealing aliens' existence, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation are saying, wait, let people calm down first. Yeah, cool story, bro. Team, who helped Israeli space security program from 1981 to 2010, reportedly said they don't want to start mass hysteria. They want to first make us sane and understanding. Well, let me also tell all of you. If these beings really wanted to help us, as if they would care about, you know, mass hysteria, considering what's going on here. You know, everyone's just waiting. Trump's waiting. The Galactic Federation's waiting. And so what, what's happening is people are waiting because they think, oh, you know, someone else is going to come soon. <laughs> I'm going to be saved soon. Same as religion, you know, Jesus. Jesus is, is going to come and uh, save people. Since I went through my awakening in 2012, I have been... Um, Selling. <laughs> when I think some people are more open to it, and I have... Or naive. ...videos on ETs before, but I, I kind of hold back sometimes. But I'll tell you what. Please do. <laughs> this information coming out, and it's been coming out as well. Uh, I think certain presidents, like I said, Obama, recently refused an interview on The Late Show with uh, Stephen Colbert to confirm or deny the existence of extraterrestrial life based on top secret U.S. records. I believe that Obama has known about it for a long time. I believe a lot of the presidents, and I'm not a conspiracy that's like your own level of discernment, but this is coming out in the mainstream New York Times, literally New York Post, it's coming out, and this is how I think soft disclosure is going to happen. It's not necessarily going to happen with the, uh, the White House making, I mean, unless somebody like Trump is like, I want to say it. <laughs> Can you imagine Trump just saying, he's like, I really want to say it. <laughs> but and, um, but there's, there's different perspectives of this. So first off, let's go a little bit deeper into this. Now, first off, just so you know kind of where I'm coming from before I even get into it, because if you haven't listened to my videos before or know who I am, you might think, oh, this sounds like some... We're 11 minutes in and he's really spoken about nothing in particular. I don't really know what the point of this is. He spent the first seven or eight minutes selling stuff. Uh, then he's just spoken about uh, an article in the New York Post, but it's not really any, anything of substance here. What really opened my mind to this stuff is back in 2012, I went through a spiritual awakening. I learned meditation, completely transformed my life, and I also knew, some knew someone in my life. Wow, you learned how to get addicted to false highs. <laughs> Equates to a spiritual awakening. See, to me, a spiritual awakening it's like being dragged through a hedge. Because <laughs> first of all, you find out that we're all being lied to. Then you find out that there's a depopulation program. <laughs> and then you realize, actually, I need to sort my own shit out. <laughs> and so then you have to face all of that. But these, these people, they sell this uh, spiritual awakening. Like, they just woke up one day and they were floating on a cloud. It does make me laugh because I think a true spiritual awakening is, it can be quite traumatic and uh, very difficult with ups and downs was, I guess what you'd call Freemason or someone that was in like the back, kind of like a, I don't know, secret society type thing. And um, what I learned from this person is very interesting. I learned, I started looking into this whole conspiracy, secret side of the government or whatever you want to call it, because I knew someone in my life that was a part of it. So it wasn't like I was just reading something online. I was like, oh, this looks very interesting. Let me go down this article. I was getting information and learning about things that I kind of denied, but I was like, maybe there's something here. And it really started to link up with all the things I was learning. And it had to do with also meeting somebody that, or knowing somebody for most of my life that worked at an underground facility for over 20 years. And towards the end of this mm. <laughs> okay. underground facility, this person flew 200 to 300 times a year to some undisclosed uh, place that they don't even know where it is. They were in a plane that didn't even have windows. They didn't go to some underground thing. And what this person just told me is that there's underground facilities that are beyond anything we can imagine as far as size goes. And what this person was involved with was transporting, transporting material to these different places, almost like construction material. Now, what this person told me that they are around things that most people completely are completely time. Yeah, as you can see, uh, kind of not really anything of substance there. He's promoting, you know, aliens, Galactic Federation of Light, Trump, Bashar, Abraham Hicks, all the channelers. I, like I say, I wouldn't trust any channelers. Uh, most of the beings that, well, probably all of the beings that, that these people are channeling are, are of the false white light. I've had personal experience of people that work with them or are channeling with them. And uh, yeah, just uh, as I say, you know, the first 10 minutes almost, well, it was maybe not 10 minutes, six, seven minutes was just all selling a load of gumph. And as I say, the, the guy comes off as uh, more of a salesman and he's kind of latching on to spirituality to, you know, to sell all of his stuff. And 
as I say, I, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. You know, we all have to make a living, but it just when that's the kind of overriding message of the video, you have to wonder what what the intention really is, and all this texting stuff, and I don't know, it's it's a whole load of cool call aid with deceptions thrown in, and uh, yeah. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, please keep giving me your suggestions. I've got a huge list to get through. Um, also guys, uh, just before I go, please don't forget to subscribe to my BitChute or library. Um, as I say, don't know how long I'm going to be on here. It takes two seconds to just go to BitChute because I want you guys, uh, I don't want to lose you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. And take care and stay strong.